Hi everyone, welcome to Mike Ferry TV. I'm Ron Cronin. You know, for many agents, it takes years for them to finally figure out that as a real estate agent, it's a sales job, right? It takes years for some people to understand that, that it's a sales job. And there's a very important sales process that's followed by every sales industry, regardless of what's being sold. Now the process is simple, it's logical and effective. It's a process that should be used daily at all levels of produ uh, production. Now, if a real estate agent sees themselves as a salesperson and they understand what is the main job of a salesperson, the process makes perfect sense. But if we're explaining this to a typical realtor, <laughs> then the process may be foreign and difficult to follow. So let's write down the sales process, okay? I have the process of sales here, and I want you to write down number one. The first step for any person in any sales job is to generate leads. So let's write it down. Generate leads. It's the first step. It's the main purpose that you have a sales job. It's to promote the service or the products of the company that you work for. And our main job is to generate leads, okay? So I want you to understand there's three ways for you to get business. So you should write down, I can wait for it, I can find it, or I can buy it, okay? Wait for it, find it, buy it. Step one says to generate leads, which means that you would spend your time finding business, finding potential customers, finding leads, so that you could do step number two. Step number two says to convert, convert the lead to an appointment. Convert the lead. The whole purpose of generating leads is to convert it to an appointment, okay? So that you can present the products and the services that you offer. That's why we generate leads, to convert them, all right? Now step number three, third step is to make a presentation. Make a presentation, whatever your service may be. And as a real estate agent, you have services for sellers. You also have services for buyers. So you wanna make a presentation. Okay, let's write that down. If you haven't already, make a presentation. Good, step one, generate the lead. Convert it to an appointment and then make a presentation to them. Okay, the, the presentation should show the value and the benefit of working with you and your company and showing how your service will help them accomplish their goals. That's what a great presentation means, okay? And now, it is interesting to find so many real estate agents running around with no buyer presentation, no seller presentation. I mean, I just don't get it, all right? But it takes us to number four. After we make a presentation, then step number four is one of the most important steps. It's ask them to buy. Ask them to buy at the end of your presentation. Or if you what you have is a service, you would ask them to sign up. But you understand what I mean by ask the customer to buy, step number four. Okay, generate a lead, convert it to an appointment, make a, a nice presentation, and then ask them to buy, ask them to sign up, ask them to get involved. Okay, now, you know, we must be able to overcome the common objections that they have in order to do this. We have to be able to close five times if needed. Okay, this isn't the easiest thing to do, but it is step four and it's part of our job every day. All right, and then step number five is if they don't buy, Follow up later and ask them to buy again, right? Following up is critical to making sales. As many customers take more time than we'd like to, you know, than we'd like them to in order to make that big decision of hiring you or, or allowing you to represent them, okay? It's our job to ask. It's our job to follow up. So let's look at the five steps. As I said, it couldn't be more simple. Generate a lead, convert it to an appointment, make a presentation, ask them to get involved. If they can't get involved right away, follow up a little bit later and ask them to get involved again. This is the process of every sales industry, <laughs> except for guess what? Right, real estate. 
All right, so the mindset of a great real estate salesperson is to be presenting to a potential customer daily. And if you're not going, you know, if you're not doing uh, number three, right? If you're not doing number three, making presentations daily, well, consider that you might need to do more of numbers one and number two so that you could get out there on number three more often, right? If you, if you only have an appointment every week, well, consider doing more lead generation and doing more, you know, converting those leads uh, and then that way you'll have more presentations, okay? Now listen, you're a great salesperson. Follow the process. Follow the rules. You'll sell more homes. Thanks for watching Mike Ferry TV.